Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Honorary Co-Chair Carol Hamilton, please welcome Vice President of External Affairs and Strategic Philanthropy for L'Oreal Paris, Ms. Michael Tracy. And thank you so much, Gina, for all that you do, and thank you so much, Dr. Sergi. I am so proud to be here this evening with so many amazing and accomplished women in this room tonight, and also the many men here tonight who love those women. <laughs> and congratulations to the Connecticut Hall of Fame for this tremendous turnout. As you know, the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame honors the extraordinary achievements of women who have ties to the state of Connecticut. And we at L'Oreal Paris are so proud to be involved with the gala for our fourth year because actually we have a very similar mission. L'Oreal strives to encourage, empower, and recognize all women. We also have a particularly close bond with Connecticut. Our West Farm store is one of only two L'Oreal stores in the entire U.S. And this year, <laughs> I think everybody's planning on visiting tomorrow. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> but we're very, very pleased to be sporting the gala this year, especially as tonight's theme is women in science, because women in science is at the heart of our company. I don't know if many of you know this, but L'Oreal was actually founded by a chemist. And this dedication to science research and innovation is at the heart of who we are as a company. We encourage women all over the world to enter the field of scientific research. And we encourage the scientific community to provide more opportunities for these women. So thank you, Dr. Sergi, for your words. They're so important to keep young women encouraged who want to go into science. And in fact, a decade ago, L'Oreal joined forces with UNESCO to encourage women in the pursuit of their scientific careers. They created a partnership, and that partnership is called For Women in Science. And our motto for that program is, the world needs science, and science needs women. And this evening, one of your inductees is actually a 2001 L'Oreal UNESCO laureate. L'Oreal Paris is also passionately involved in another area of research that's critically important to us women. For the past 11 years, we have dedicated our philanthropic efforts to advancing research and building awareness of aware, oh, but pardon me, I'm sorry, I'm so involved in this cause, I get a little choked up, but uh, building awareness of ovarian cancer. And if you look in your gift bags tonight, you will see a cosmetic bag that is actually a fundraiser every year for our charitable partner, which is the Ovarian Cancer Research Fund. And I'm very proud to say that over these past 11 years, we've raised over $18 million to advance ovarian cancer research. But bringing us back to tonight, tonight is a very special occasion for some very special women. Congratulations to all the remarkable, remarkable women being recognized tonight both the new century of women in science honorees and this year's Hall of Fame inductees. Thank you for inspiring us all and thank you for being role models to us all. I'd like to, on behalf of L'Oreal, congratulate Dr. Jewel Plummer Cobb, Joan Stites, our 2001 laureate, and I'd also like to recognize the memory of Patricia Goldman Rakesh. 
Barbara McClintock, and their families who are with us tonight. It's very special. Thank you so much, and I'm so happy to be with you. Thank you so much for the warm welcome.